I keep getting questions about how to get washboard abs. And I'm gonna share with you the three things that help me accomplish the washboard abs that I have. The first thing is my strength training. The second thing is my diet. Very important, the diet. The third thing is doing the aerobic cardio training that I do. It's a three-prong approach. So I'm gonna show you today the workouts, just a simple at-home workout that I do on average three, four, or five times a week. So I'm gonna start by clearing space. And the first exercise I'm gonna do is on the ground. Just find a nice place where you can lay down, feel comfortable, get on the ground. Oh my God, this feels so good. Okay, so I just get on the floor, nice, steady, sturdy place, and I start with my crunches. And to do the crunches, all I'm doing is lifting my shoulders off the floor. It's actually a really small movement. I do 25, 30 repetitions, shoulders off the floor, and I think about my abdominals while I'm doing every single crunch. So at the crunch, I'm actually squeezing the abdominals. And the other thing to think about is the pelvis. If you curl your pelvis in words while you're lifting your head, the lower part of the abdominals is also really getting worked. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Every single rep, I'm tightening my abs. I can feel them squeezing and they start to burn. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Abs. Nice and tight. Don't forget to stretch. Oh, just stretch your arms, your shoulders, your back. I swear I could stay here all day. <laughs> okay. On to the next one. The other exercise I do is knee -ins. I like to do them on the floor or on a piece of furniture that's sturdy, okay? These are a little bit harder, but you can work yourself up to them. In, lean back, in, lean back, in, 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 and I'm working my abdominals, but I really feel it in my lower abdominals. Woo! <laughs> I'm out of breath. Think about your abdominals like this. That thick covering, the body fat that's over your abs, is kind of like a big, cushy, thick blanket. So what we need to do is uncover those abs. So what we really wanna do is get that big, thick blanket down to a sheet. So the third exercise I'm gonna show you is just knee from a standing position. And I'm alternating elbow to knee, elbow, to knee, alternating sides, left elbow, right knee. If you're working on balance, because that takes a minute, you could do one at a time. One, two, three, and I'm twisting and thinking about my abs while I do the actual repetition. I want you to think about your abs, think about the abs, think about the abs. And then do the other side, same thing. 15 repetitions, 20 repetitions, whatever you can do, just don't give up. Even if it's just like three reps, one, two, three, take a breath. Get your composure, start again. I did four sets on the floor of my crunches. I did four sets of my knee-ins. And then I'm gonna do four sets of my knee-ins, standing up. And that's an example of three exercises that I could do at home when I don't go to the gym. It's a three-prong approach, like I said, to washboard abs. It's doing my strength training, it's eating right, and doing aerobic cardio workouts to keep that body fat melted down to a sheet. 
not a blanket. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helps you. I hope it inspires you. Feel free to leave comments, ask me questions about what I do. I want to share that with you. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to go more in depth on my training, my eating, my cardio, what that means exactly in hopes of giving you something that will work for you. Like, leave a comment, a question, ring the bell. Thank you for watching. Stay pumped.